DaVinci Resolve, like every other program you run on your computer, is software. It's complex, it's resource hungry, but it's still software. And what does all software do? It crashes. So in today's video, we're gonna jump into DaVinci Resolve and I'm gonna show you a few ways to prevent the loss of your editing work. So welcome back to Creator Reality, my friend. Let's get into Resolve and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here we are in Resolve. We're gonna start by going up to the DaVinci Resolve menu and clicking Preferences. This drops us into the system side of things and there's a bunch of stuff going on. We're gonna ignore that, although you should probably take a look around and see some of the other cool things that Resolve will do. Um, but we're gonna go to the User tab here and we're gonna go and come down to Project Save and Load. And this is, this is the big one, really. Pretty much as soon as you hit a keystroke or change something in Resolve, it's gonna save it for you with the live save feature. So we're gonna make sure that live save is checked. We have project backups, we'll get to that in a second. Timeline backups, and here you can perform backups every 10 minutes. If you ever see one of my videos and a backup screen pops up in the center of the screen here, that's because I have it set to every 10 minutes. And then you can do hourly backups for the past 12 hours, it'll kind of drop off old ones because you don't need them anymore, and daily backups. That's gonna come in key in just a minute because I've had enough projects that got so corrupted by crashing so hard that you couldn't open a timeline. It's kind of crazy, right? But it has happened and the fix is gonna be something I'm gonna show you in just a minute. But you've gotta have this stuff working in the background to help you should the worst happen, right? We all know backups, two is one and one is none, so more backups is better than less. It's only disk space after all. It's not your time, your time is valuable. Anyway, <laughs> then you have a backup location. Now, this is set to my H drive, obviously not my C drive. I highly recommend that the operating system of your computer and DaVinci Resolve sit on your internal SSD or internal hard disk drive. If you're still running HH, HDDs rather, I don't know why, SSDs are the way to go, especially when you're using a data and disk driven application like Resolve. It just makes things faster. But everything else should be on separate drives, two or three if you've got them. If you only have one or two, that's fine. I have two one terabyte external SSDs that are plugged into USB 3.0 and it's fast enough for the 4K footage I work with. So that's my plug today for SSDs. If you wanna buy one, use the Amazon affiliate link in the video description below, no extra cost to you, but it does help out the channel if you do. And I've been using them for four years with knock on wood, no issues. Hopefully I didn't just set off my dogs. They like to bark when they think somebody's at the door. Anyway, let's get back into Resolve and show you where all this comes into play. So the backup location is set. Once everything is set here, you can click Save. And sometimes if you change something, Resolve will pop up a message here and it'll tell you, you know, it won't be active until you restart Resolve. So restart Resolve, duh, right? Now, if you have an issue where a project crashes, can't open, sometimes you'll get a message saying, we had a corruption while trying to save, we being Resolve, uh, do you wanna exit and load, reload, current load? Just save and load, it's fine. You'll, you, you might lose 10 minutes worth of work at most, but let's go take a look at our project backups because this is important. Now, what we have here is my creator reality videos. And if you right click on them, you can come down here to project backups. So what happens is all your backups will show up in here and you can right click on one of these, click load, and it'll automatically append copy to the end like that. And you can change the name, whatever you want. And it's got a date timestamp built in here. So what you end up with is a fresh project that's loaded from the backup that you can then go back in and start editing again. At most, I've lost five or 10 minutes worth of work using this backup and restore method. But there are more backups. Let's jump into the entire project library or project database backups. So back on our project manager, you've got this little icon over here, and if you click it, it shows you a whole new window. This is where all of your project libraries. See, now you thought I might have misspoke earlier because I said libraries and databases. If you did, click the like button. If you didn't, click the, click the like button anyway. Show me you care. <laughs> You're learning stuff, right? Yes. 
But see, we have project libraries and we have the local database. This is the database. It's our project database. By default, the local database is created when you install DaVinci Resolve. Clicking on the details button here opens up some information about it and a spot to back it up. So we're gonna click backup and then we're gonna drop down here and click on the latest one, which gives us our format. And I'm gonna type in 250125 because it's been uh, a little over a month since I did my last backup. I recommend doing it monthly. You don't have to, but I think it's good practice. And I'm gonna click save. And it's gonna tell me it's gonna take a while and we're gonna click backup. And then we're gonna go get a cup of coffee or a drink of water. It's gonna take several minutes, depending on how many projects you have. I have about 400 in here and I could go do a backup, delete projects, and then future backups would be faster. And I don't know why I don't because it would save me time when I do my backups. But anyway, and there we go. Project library backed up successfully. Now comes the part where if your whole database got corrupted somehow, we're gonna go ahead and click on this button here to do a restore. And then all of our backups are right here. So you've got all that going on. You can click on one, click open and follow the prompts and it will do a restore. And then you're back up and running hopefully. Pretty cool, right? So that's how to do backups of your database and your projects and restore your projects and your database. Pretty cool, right? Pretty easy. Once you've set it up, Resolve is just gonna keep going at it, doing your auto saves and your live saves and all that stuff. And it will keep you as protected as it can from losing your work. We all know that time is valuable, so I thank you for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it. Until next time, click on that video that YouTube has picked out for you. It's one of mine, so it should be informative. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day. John out.